There is a hidden deposit of lithium in a lake in the United States, one single deposit, and there's enough lithium there to make cars for 24 years of American production. Now, assuming that every single car in America ran on a battery pack, it was all battery powered. This would provide enough lithium for 375 million cars. That's from one single lake. And it really does change the game for America because right now America is still very dependent upon China for its battery materials, its battery minerals. This changes that game entirely. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. And as you can see, I'm kind of excited about this new find. We can lead the clean energy future, create jobs and a strong domestic supply chain and boost our national energy security, said the US Department of Energy on seeing this news. So the American government is extremely excited on this information. They're going to fully support the extraction of these minerals. And it really does go to show Toyota's lies about there not being enough lithium. Complete myth, complete and utter nonsense. There is more than enough lithium for about 100 years of electric cars based on today's current known deposits. The US Department of Energy recently revealed the results of an extensive analysis conducted by the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, unearthing an immense store of lithium beneath California's Selton Sea. You probably also heard that in Utah, the Great Salt Lake has an equally enormous store of lithium. And in another location in the desert in Las Vegas, they also have about this much lithium. So between these three mega lithium deposits in America, there's actually enough lithium to build one billion. That's no joke. One billion electric cars between just these three locations. That excludes all the other lithium deposits in America. Can you see how now Toyota's claims are incredibly false? Termed the Saudi Arabia of lithium by Governor Gavin Newsom, the region's underground reservoir of scorching hot brine is estimated to contain enough lithium to produce a staggering 375 million electric vehicle batteries. This discovery positions the Salton Sea as one of the largest lithium brine deposits in the world, promising a seismic shift in America's approach to lithium production. Lithium is vital to decarbonizing the economy and meeting President Biden's goals of 50% electric vehicle adoption by 2030, said Jeff Marushin, Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary for Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy in a statement. This report confirms the once-in-a-generation opportunity to build a domestic lithium industry at home while also expanding clean, flexible electricity generation. Using American innovation, we can lead the clean energy future, create jobs and a strong domestic supply chain and boost our national energy security. You probably remember recently Elon Musk said, being able to refine lithium is a license to print gold, a license to print money. He said something along that, along those lines. There are very few lithium refineries in North America. This will be a huge boost to Tesla because their lithium refinery should be completed within the next 12 to 24 months. And it would come at the perfect time for the massive influx of lithium, which will be mined. Once you bring lithium up out of the ground, you have to refine it. And it's a quite a complex process to do this efficiently using the most energy efficient processes. The Salton Seas revolution is a game changer for EVs in America. Despite its infamy as California's ecological disaster hub having made headlines with its droughts, heat waves, and mass deaths of fish, the Salton Sea is experiencing a green energy renaissance. The Salton Sea known Geothermal Resource Area or KGRA is estimated to increase its geothermal electricity generation capacity from 400 megawatts to 2,950 megawatts. That's a huge increase. The lake has now become a focal point for lithium extraction from geothermal brines, with the Department of Energy's study positioning the Salton Sea as a crucial player globally in meeting or exceeding global lithium demand 
for decades to come. Potential though does come with its share of challenges. It's not that easy. While the Department of Energy asserts that the lithium reservoir could make the US self-sufficient in lithium, harnessing and extracting this resource on a commercial scale is somewhat of a formidable task. Companies like Berkshire Hathaway Energy and Controlled Thermal Resources are already investing in the technology to extract the lithium from the brine efficiently. This is not something that hasn't been done before. It has, but it's still a challenge to set up. The emphasis is on developing direct lithium extraction technology, steering away from environmentally harmful practices such as open pit drilling and massive evaporation pools currently prevalent in extracting lithium. Now, I've made a series of videos on the new technologies being used to extract the lithium. And that is another topic in and of itself. But this new technology we have now to extract lithium from brine is actually game changing as well. So this is coming at really the perfect time as the Salton Sea emerges as a lithium powerhouse. Questions are arising about the feasibility and sustainability of large scale lithium extraction. It's still a long bet seeing this project bear any fruit. Reported electric and I'm not convinced. I think that they're very cynical. I think that this project will absolutely pan out. It's just too much lithium here for it not to be a success. And realistically, billions of dollars are sitting here waiting to be extracted. The Los Angeles Times, though, were skeptical. They said that no company has successfully executed lithium extraction from the Salton Sea's brine, raising doubts about the practicality and economic viability of the project. Yet, the allure of this massive gold mine just sitting there, one of the world's largest sources of lithium, coupled with environmentally friendly extraction methods, has sparked huge multi-billion dollar investments into the project. Companies like General Motors, Stellantis, and Ford are already in partnerships to secure lithium from the Salton Sea, signaling the industry's immense confidence in lithium successfully being extracted. Despite some uncertainties and some skepticism from certain elements of the media, the dream of a clean energy future, free flowing domestic lithium, and a surge in skilled drops remains a very powerful incentive. This is gonna bring in billions of dollars to America's economy. Clearly the Department of Energy believes that this project will work and it's pretty much willing to do whatever it takes to help companies extract the lithium. Personally, I believe the new environmentally friendly technologies are legitimate. They do work, I've done a lot of research on them, and I think the lithium will be extracted successfully. It's gonna actually provide America with more than enough lithium than they need for many years to come. This is actually fantastic news. Thank you for watching.